Dr. Uptown here. We're bringing you a, uh, another new pistol today. Uh, this is a, a loaner from Sniper Rob who decided to uh, get himself something a little more uh, compact uh, to carry with. And uh, what he bought was a uh, Citadel Compact 1911 in uh, 45 ACP. Now, when he bought his pistol, he uh, bought it from Davidson's and uh, came with uh, several options. One of those was to uh, get it with the uh, Hogue wraparound grips so uh, it came as a package with the Hogue wraparound grips and they went ahead and sent the original equipment grips with it. Uh, something else that came with was uh, two magazines. It's a uh, standard if you're uh, if you remember it's uh, basically exactly the same pistol as the uh, Rock Island. This is my uh, nine millimeter tack this one, however, is chambered in uh, 45 ACP. It um, basically, other than just a few cosmetic changes, is exactly the same pistol. And uh, if you're familiar with them, uh, Citadel is also made by uh, Rock Island Armor, or uh, correction, it's made by Arms Corps, which uh, is also the uh, makers of the Rock Island Armory. Uh, just a few of the cosmetic differences are the uh, skeletonized trigger on it versus the one that Rock Island uses. It comes with the uh, same Novak style uh, low profile sights, skeleton hammer. Of course, like I say, we've also got the Hogue grips. We'll go ahead and pull you in a little closer here. Uh, got the Hogue wraparound grips for it, uh, beaver tail grip safety. Uh, beyond that, uh, pretty much exactly the same as the Rock Islands. And of course, it does have the Citadel roll mark versus the uh, Rock Island Armory roll mark. Uh, breakdown is going to be exactly the same. Pull it back, bring it back. As we uh, take it apart, you'll notice that uh, all the parts are exactly the same as far as your field strip is concerned. But it's a uh, very nice pistol. Um, in comparison with the Rock Island, I would tend to say that the uh, finish, which is also parkerized just as it is on the Rock Island, does seem to me to be just a bit finer. I don't know particularly if uh, the Citadels have a uh, an additional step in their parkerizing process that they're using or if um, if they're actually using a slightly different method uh, to parkerize the pistols. Like I say, considering that they basically come from exactly the same factory, I can't imagine that there's a whole lot of difference in what they do with them. However, uh, for some reason it just does seem to be a bit smoother uh, as compared to the Rock Island and like I say I don't know if it's just uh, on the day that this one was built it was a little bit different than the other days or what the situation is but uh, beyond that uh, like I say very very few cosmetic uh, differences uh, one of the bigger ones is the uh, wider grooves on the uh, Citadel versus on the Rock Island and it does tend to make it a little bit uh, easier to grip a hole and bring that slide back into action. Beyond that, that uh, pretty much uh, highlights the differences in them. Uh, I believe the Citadel does run a few dollars more expensive than the uh, Rock Island does for basically the same pistol. And as I said, this one is available in 45 ACP. I don't know that uh, Citadel has them out uh, in the 9mm. This particular one that I've been showing you from the Rock Island is the 9mm that they have out available. And I don't know that Citadel's gone forward and uh, brought that out in the 9mm yet, but we'll see. 
uh, what they come up with. Anyway, I hope you guys find this interesting. This is the uh, Citadel Compact 1911 and 45 ACP. We'll talk to you later. Y'all have a nice day.